today on Fitness with Frost. We're gonna go into trends of where fitness technology is going and where it's going beyond 2023. We're gonna go into things like the metaverse, where fitness wearables will be going, what at-home gyms are gonna be looking like, and some things built in for mental health as well. And don't forget, beyond 2023, but let's go ahead and get right into it. One of the first things I want to get into is the metaverse. And what is the metaverse? Essentially where your digital avatar or digital self is with a bunch of other people around. There's a lot of ways to currently get your fitness in. People know about Beat Saber where you're kind of throwing around lightsabers to a beat. People can get their heart rate elevated due to this and actually get a good cardiovascular workout with that. There are even things out currently for platforms like MetaQuest that you can do right now to get a lot of virtual fitness in there's one thing called supernatural there's boxing involved there's a lot of other things i'll be kind of shooting some b-roll right underneath but that is currently out right now sadly it does look like it is only for meta quest but hopefully you'll be able to go to a more broad vr market even on the quest 2 you can get things like the les mills i'm really not exactly sure how to pronounce his name body combat so currently there are more options for vr and even for ar augmented reality to get your work out in but hopefully beyond 2023 we'll get into that a little bit later there'll be even more options but i am excited about this space and hopefully i'm going to be getting involved so make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when those videos do come out. And one of my favorite things to do with this AR and VR technology is to able to virtually compete with somebody. Some people are more motivated than others to compete with people, but I am one of those people who do like to compete. Hollow Fit as well, it looks more towards uh, cyclers and stuff like that, but there's gonna be a lot of options and even more coming soon. So wearables are becoming a lot more sophisticated and for cheaper price and a lot more powerful as well. You can connect to the metaverse to see how your heart rate is elevated. You can actually be able to check out your SPO2 levels on so many different devices. ECGs as well, just on the wrist, blood pressure, and all of that. And it's just continuing to get cheaper. Apple has been awesome, of course, throughout this entire channel. I do pretty much all fitness tech reviews, getting an idea, but it is continuing to get better and it's continuing to get cheaper for pretty much everybody. So I am excited to see where this space is gonna continue to grow. There's a lot more things that are going towards a more subscription base, which I'm a little disappointed about. But with a lot of that, you do get some extra functionality with that subscription base, but we'll see where that goes. They say one in five Americans currently have a wearable on their wrists, and that is just gonna continue to grow as well. I remember when the first Apple Watch came out, people were like, oh yeah, this isn't really gonna catch on too much. And look where we're at, 20% of people all have them on. Home gyms have already made a lot of big strides within the past couple of years, of course, due to the whole pandemic and all of that. But there's a lot of different options. There's like mirror type devices that I hope to get my hands on sometime soon to show you what those are all about. And there's even at home apps that build in a lot of things as far as different workout plans, different modifications for those of you who might be pregnant or even have different injuries, but there are a lot of options to get your at-home workout in, even if you don't have a lot of dumbbells or equipment and stuff like that. So there are a lot of options as far as building equipment. Of course, you have your Norda tracks, you have your Pelotons. There are a lot of different ways to get those type of class-based environments at home. But of course, those two come with subscription models as well. But there is gonna be a lot of room to grow within after 2023 and so on there's gonna be a lot of extra things of course you have your bikes you have your treadmills there's gonna be things like rowers at home that you're able to compete against other people with and putting your heart rate tracker on so you're able to see that on your screen as well it is pretty expensive currently but as soon as the market becomes more and more competitive hopefully it become less and less expensive for anybody who wants to get their workout in at home and it looked like mental health is coming to the forefront which is awesome your mental health is just as or maybe even more important than your physical health a lot of things like Fitbit build in things like calming sessions to be able to see where your stress levels are at. Stress is always at an all-time high as we are on a go, go, go mentality. But of course, this does put a lot of stress on your body. And of course, if stress is high, 
your fitness goals are gonna be a lot harder to achieve. So these mental health struggles are becoming to the forefront. So they're becoming more and more prominent on apps like Fitbit and other things as well, like Headspace and even some at-home therapy. So these are great ways to help with your mental health. If your mental health isn't on check, it's gonna be hard to get your physical health on check. So what's beyond 2023? As you can tell, the biggest thing that's happening right now is artificial intelligence, and that's gonna build its way into the fitness industry as well with things like at-home workouts where it's actually gonna be able to see your body composition and how your body moves in space. So be able to fix form at home, which I think is absolutely amazing as a trainer, you know, a little scary, that's kinda my business. But if it's able to fix form so you're able to move through things correctly at home and not hurt yourself, that is one of the biggest negatives with working out at home, doing very complex movements like deadlifts and squats. If you have a bad movement pattern and you continually to do that hundreds upon hundreds of reps, that's just gonna continue to deteriorate your joints and of course lead to injuries. So if AI can get involved with that, that's absolutely awesome. And I think AI is gonna be involved in the virtual reality space and the augmented reality space being able to put on a set of glasses and be able to check out your readouts as far as heart rate is concerned your pace on your run there are some things currently on the market they are a little bit more expensive hopefully again I'll be hitting my hands on one of those soon but I'm excited about that as well but overall the fitness industry is becoming even more popular as people are focusing on their physical health so hopefully throughout we can all get healthier together well hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if it was please smash that like button if it was really helpful make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you one of the first ones to know when my newest video does come out but as always guys stay happy stay healthy and above all stay positive i'll see you guys in the next one bye